This video will cover all the important problems related to component and dividend. Uh, let's start the session. Okay, a divided by b. Uh, before going to the problem, I will tell the initial things. Uh, a by b is equal to c by d. Uh, I can a by b can be written as a plus b is equal to a minus b. That means if any problem is there, x by y is equal to I can return as x plus y x minus y like that this is the format x minus y this is the format I can write here also same as it is if any 3 by 5 is there I can return as a 3 plus 5 is 8 and 3 minus 5 is minus like that I would return like this format we could also return as um, um, I will take this one as well x plus y x minus y and I will make it as 3 by 5 only this is also can be make it as I will take the problem you will understand definitely okay I will take first problem x plus y divided by x minus y okay this is the problem I will take okay x plus y okay I will take it as directly I would return as x by y is equal to uh, you will numerator can the numerator miss 3 plus 1 I would return as okay I will need this is the first problem I will take it as 3 plus 1 and 3 minus 1 okay then the format should be x by y is equal to 4 divided by 2 therefore this is the 2 then x by uh, the question is asking x divided by y therefore the answer is 2 is to 1 is the answer for this question okay I will take one more problem you will understand differently okay this is the second problem x plus 3 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 2 okay I directly return x plus 3 is equal I will uh, directly x by 3 therefore here it is 1 that means if any if the denominator is not there we could uh, thinking as 2 by 1 only therefore 2 plus 1 is 3 and uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 only therefore x is equal to 9 is the answer for this question understand that means x plus uh, by 3 that means a plus b divided by a minus b that would be written a by b I, I return that x by 3 that means x by 3 therefore uh, here it is yeah number 2 plus 1 2 minus 1 this is this could be written as 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 minus 1 is 1 because cross multiplication x is equal to 9 is the answer for this question okay next question a square plus b square is equal to a square minus b square uh, okay this is also a simple problem um, directly I have written as a square divided by b square is equal to 5 plus 3 is 5 by 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 minus 3 is 2 okay then I can shift and go with the square to here then okay I will take it as fine 4 divided by 1 now it is coming a square by b square is equal to 4 divided by 1 okay shifting over the square to left side it would become a by b is equal to root of 4 divided by root of 1 the answer is 2 by 1 is the answer for this question 2 is to 1 is the answer for this question okay I will take next problem a square plus b square is equal divided by a by b okay we already know the formula of algebra and also I did the videos of the algebra topics and please see the video I will tag in the description section as well as the i section in the above video okay uh, we already have the formula a square a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab isn't it okay uh, can I make it as divided by 2 from both sides from LHS and RHS after once I make it as LHS and RHS that uh, turns become uh, 2ab here it is uh, I have directly divided by 2 means 4 by one it is coming okay this is the format of a plus b a minus b uh, I will directly return as a square plus b square plus 2ab isn't it here it is uh, a square plus b square minus 2ab isn't it here it is 4 plus 1 is 5 and 4 minus 1 is 3 I could return as a plus b the whole square and a minus b I will take in as common one a minus b the whole square is equal to 5 by 3 I should go the square to left hand side the answer would become a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to root of 5 minus root plus 3 sorry plus 3 root of 
5 minus root of 3 therefore I could return as a plus divided by z directly I will return as a by b is equal to root of 5 plus root of 3 is equal to root of 5 minus root of 3 is the answer for this question like that we can easily solve any of the problem like this component and dividend matters uh, I will take few more problems for understanding purpose okay um, Ganesh problem cube fine uh, already I told we know the formula of for this question a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus uh, or else uh, 3ab into a plus b or else 3 a square b plus 3ab square we already know the formula of this okay uh, what I need to do here is okay I will make it as a plus b the format is present directly I could return as a cube plus 3ab square plus b cube plus 3ba square divided by b cube plus 3ba square sorry this is the a plus b a minus b right that way I would coming as a cube plus 3ab square 3ab square minus b cube minus 3a square b is equal to 46 plus 49 76 plus 49 is 125 therefore 76 minus 49 is 27 isn't it I could directly return as a plus b divided by a minus b we already know the formula a minus b the whole cube 125 by, by 27 I shifted over the cube to this one therefore the root cube root of 125 is what is the thing cube root of 125 is um, then I shifted means I will return okay fine I will return cube root of 125 here cube root of 27 the answer become 5 by 3 5 by 3 therefore I would make it as a plus b divided by a minus b is equal to 5 by 3 the question is a is to b I will make it as a by b is equal to 5 by 5 by 3 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 minus 3 is 2 therefore answer is 4 is to 1 for this question like that we can easily solve any of the question okay I will take uh, one more problem then I will wind up I will continue with the linear equation and quadratic equation okay now uh, this is the problem a root of x plus 4 I will directly return as uh, fine this is the format directly I would return as uh, root of x plus 4 a plus b a minus b that means I will directly return as this is the format isn't it sorry x minus 4 is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 minus 1 is 1 then uh, I make it as if I am shifting over the square root square on both sides if the square on both sides what should be happen x plus 4 divided by x minus 4 this is the square on squaring on both sides therefore x minus 4 is equal to 9 3 square is 9 and uh, 1 the answer will become x by y now x by y is equal to 9 plus 1 is 10 and uh, 9 plus uh, minus 1 is 8 therefore answer is 5 by um 5 by 4 x minus 4 okay fine x this is the 4 only right this is the 4 sorry now it is x by 4 is that means x by 4 now 9 plus 1 is 10 then 5 by 2 here then x is equal to 5 for the 
okay and directly i have written as 2 then x is equal to 10 is the answer for this question like that we can easily solve any of the question in component and dividend okay what is the linear equation we already know uh, linear equation in our childhood a x a x plus a one a a one x plus b one y is equal to c one and a two x plus b two y is equal to c two like the two equations are present in a linear equation with respect to x and y axis for the unique solution how we need to do for the unique solution uh, if any x and y axis two equations are present with intersect each each other if two straight lines are inter intersect each other a1 and a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 for the unique solution okay for infinite solution the in xy axis the line should be consistent here here the values are coming as equal for this x and y axis with respect to the values okay for the no solution inconsistent one the two equations are not at all coming in a straight line with two equations completely coming as in y x and y axis as different line that means here it is x a value here it is b value like that the values are different for the unique solution if any question is asking for the unique solution a1 by a2 is equal is not equal to b1 by b2 if any two lines are intersect each other for this unique solution should be happen for this kind of question a1 divided by a2 is not equal to b1 divided by b2 for the infinite solution uh, the values are same the two lines are intersecting each other uh, two lines are straight on only and in straight line only and uh, the equation should be a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 divided by b2 is equal to c1 divided by 2 to c2 for the inconsistent one we are not at all getting the solutions and no values we are not getting for this kind of a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 divided by b2 is and is not equal to c1 divided by c2 because here it is not at all i am going to explain the theorem that's why that's why i am going to do the problem with res, with respect to this uh, linear equation uh, solutions okay i will take the problems how it would be asking okay this is the first problem here it is the unique solution for this unique solution what is the unique solution here 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 given us unique solution unique solution already i told please mug it up here uh, okay here is the unique solution means we need to remember this one infinite uh, solution or same uh, consistent one we need to we need to uh, make it as uh, remember this one no solution means consistent one we need to remember this one okay i will take the problem here so this is the first one if a kx minus y is equal to 2 and 6x minus 2y is equal to 3 there are two equation having a unique solution we already know the unique solution formula okay fine here it is uh, this is the a1 this is the a2 we already know the a1 for unique solution a1 by a2 is equal to is not equal to is not equal to b1 by b2 what is the a1 value is k what is the a2 value is 6 therefore is not equal to b what is the b1 value is 1 minus 1 here as well as the minus 2 here b2 value therefore um, here it is 3 i will directly return as 3 minus minus plus therefore k is is not equal to 3 is the answer for this question like that we can note on the solutions what is unique solution formula uh, unique solution formula and uh, infinite solution formula and no solution formula okay next problem this is the problem two equations are given here it is no solutions are given uh, how to do yeah, no solutions are no solutions means we already aware for that one um, a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 sorry is equal to b1 divided by b2 and uh, is not equal to c1 divided by c2 what is the a value a1 value is 2 and a2 value is 3 and b2 value b1 value is k and uh, b2 value is 4 and is not equal to c so what is the c value is 8 as well as 9 i will neglect this one anyway i will take the one more uh, i will neglect this one anyway i want k value that's it i will take it as 
from uh, this one i will take this one as we'll take this one okay um what's the thing here it is uh, 4 to the 8 therefore 8 divided by cross multiplication 4 to the 8 divided by 3 is the answer for this solution okay i will take the next problem okay next problem is 2x plus k minus 2 find the infinite solution here it is given as infinite solution we need to aware for the what is the infinite solution formula infinite solution formula is a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 divided by b2 and is equal to c1 divided by c2 what is the a1 a2 a uh, a2 is uh, what is 6 here it is 6 then uh, b1 value is k minus 2 and uh, b2 value is k and c value is uh, 3 and 9 okay i will take it as any one of the this any one of the equation um i will take this one 3 1 okay 3 um then k minus 2 is equal to okay i will take it as this one only better 1 by 3 same as it if any equations we can take it as same answer okay uh, fine k is equal to cross multiply because here it is 1 k is equal to 3 k minus 6 therefore k is equal to uh, here it is coming as this means 2 k minus 2 k is equal to minus 6 means minus minus cancer k is equal to 3 is the answer for this question okay this is like that we can easily solve the problem for any of the um, linear equation for our formulas we can uh, we can easily remember if you remember these unit a uh, unique solution infinite solution uh, formula we can easily solve any of the problems uh, in any exams okay I will take uh, lost uh, uh, problem uh, lost format problems quadratic equation problems in algebra uh, it would complete all the formats fine uh, this is the one if quadratic equation means a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero like that equations are coming um, let's see if any alpha plus beta is equal to minus e b by a that means minus this is the exponential minus uh, e, this is minus this is exponential alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a alpha beta is c by a where b alpha and beta are the roots of the equation d is nothing but a b square minus 4 is 4ac the roots of the equation minus p plus or minus b square minus 4ac by 2a like that we need to remember the formula if you remember this formula we can easily solve any of the quadratic equation formula let's solve the questions uh, we will understand please remember this formula now i am solving alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a alpha beta is equal to c by a and roots of the equation are minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a let's solve the question for the first one okay if the roots are 2x square minus 5x minus x uh, plus x the uh, all the okay or equal and magnitude on opposite side fine here the question is asking fine here okay uh, this is the equation what is setting said is equal in magnitude but opposite is sign they were asking fine equal in magnitude means alpha is equal to beta uh, i will take uh, alpha plus beta we know the formula what is the alpha and beta minus b by a here it is given as uh, signs are opposite opposite in signs that means equal in magnitude means we will take it as one uh, roots are equal means i will take it as equal and opposite sign one is plus one is minus that way it would be beta is coming as minus al alpha then b what is the equation of b format um, b is minus 5 k minus 4 and what is the a 2 this is the 5 don't confusion the for root plus and minus cancel 0 is equal to um, 5 k 
plus 4 divided by 2 okay minus minus plus sorry this already minus is there then no need of plus 1 then it should be minus 1 only this is the minus sign therefore 5k minus 4 is equal to 0 k is equal to 4 divided by 5 is the answer for this question like that we can easily solve the problems by using this method uh, if any question is asking all for beta we can usually formatting uh, what is the equation of k we already know so we can easily substitute the answer we can easily get the alpha and beta values as well okay next problem okay the second problem is x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 and the roots are alpha pi b beta then find alpha pi beta alpha beta okay we already know the formulas let's uh, do the problems here okay this is the equation alpha pi beta we already know alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a minus b by a means this already minus 4 is there i will take it as 4 divided by 1 this is the exponential a is 1 therefore answer is 4 is the answer for this one done alpha beta we already know alpha beta means uh, c by a see what is the c value is the uh, 3 divided by 1 is 3 is the answer done therefore alpha square plus beta square is equal to question mark okay um, alpha plus beta square how can we do fine um, okay uh, we would first we would uh, alpha 1 plus alpha plus 1 by beta we could calculate then we can easily solve alpha plus beta divided by uh, alpha beta that means we already know alpha plus beta is um, 4 and alpha beta is 3 fine then uh, this is the one right alpha square plus beta square what is the we already know the formula a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 ab then a square plus b square is equal to then uh, m alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 ab that means alpha beta here uh, here we already know alpha plus beta square is equal to 4 it is coming that means square means 16 minus uh, alpha beta is 3 that means uh, here it is 2 and 6 2 3 just 6 therefore answer is 10 for this question but this is also done this is also done then cube uh, this is also this is the formula what is a cube plus b cube okay last one is is there alpha plus beta plus alpha by beta here it is alpha by beta um, we need to i will take it as here only i will uh, alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha beta the alpha square plus beta square already calculated is 10 alpha beta is 3 answer 10 by 3 is the answer for this like that we can easily solve any of the problem for this kind of problems okay fine next problem okay next problem is 2x cube minus 5x plus 5 okay next problem is if an equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 then the roots are 1 and c by a and then find the roots here okay this is also a simple problem we already know the component under dividend under 1 uh, a by a minus b what is the thing here this is the a1 this is the b this is the c here uh, here question is c by a is asking therefore uh, c by a means in component under dividend under c here is what is the exponential c minus a this is a, here it is coming c minus a and what is the action uh, exponential of a is a minus b is the answer for this question this is a simple one like that we can easily solve by using this reference okay next problem last problem nothing but the least if an equation of a, a square plus bx plus c is equal to zero then a plus b this is also the same problem we need to find out the roots as well fine um 
a x square plus b x plus c and if a plus b is equal to 0 then roots are 1 and c by a this is the a term this is the b and this is the c okay i could return as this one as uh, okay i will make it as 2 x square minus 2 x minus x i make it as 3 x as 2 x minus 3 x plus 1 is equal to 0 because we need c by a here we already one root is 1 we already know one root is 1 uh, other one more root we need to find out as c by a therefore 2 x common here x minus 1 is coming here i will take it as minus 1 is comma therefore equation x minus 1 therefore here now it is x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 is the one equation therefore we already know x is equal to 1 is the one equation we go out one more equation is x is equal to 1 by half is the answer for this question like that we can easily solve any of the problems okay first cost checking just putting the values for those things either we will get or not if we, if one equation here it if we are putting a 1 for this equation 2 minus 3 plus 1 is equal to RHS or LHS yeah of course it is coming as uh, because 3 minus 3 is 0 only therefore RHS LHS become equal therefore answer is right for this question like that we can easily solve any of the problem uh, in algebra already I covered all the important problems in algebra in first video here in this video I completed with the component and dividend row linear equation and um, quadratic equation now complete all the sector all the important problems in algebra uh, next video will be the trigonometry videos please keep supporting our channel we will upload uh, a few more videos in max in any of the exam to crack and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section as well thank you for watching this video thank you very much